protect. You're worse than this guy the dog. Now what we do in this pit is alligator wrestling. I have three or four guys who volunteer their time here to do these shows and not employed by the park due to liability reasons. None of us are. And those guys don't get paid a dime. Nor should they, by the way. Because one of them should have been here today. Not me. Uh, the only money... So you're worse than both of these shit. The only money they do bring in comes from these tip baskets you see all along the fence line and up there as well. Half of that money goes to the wrestler, half goes to the rescue. That's what we use to pay for food, vet bills, buy these gators off the other trappers, uh, basically fund the rescue. Now, alligator wrestling is not like wrestling on television. People think there's going to be headlocks and body slams and run on the chair, smash them in the face. It doesn't go down like that. And thankfully for you folks, I definitely will not be dressing up in spandex and jumping off the top rope. Unless you really want to see it. <laughs> All alligator wrestling is is the old Seminole Indian capture techniques mimicked in a pit like this with a few stunts on it. I'm trying to show you something real quick with this guy because he's sitting here looking all pretty. Oh, he's dead. Just kidding. Notice the eyes on top to the sides of the head. It means he can't see anything directly in front of his own nose, and he can't see anything underneath his mouth, and he can't see anything inside of it. As long as you don't touch anything, he shouldn't close his mouth. If you do touch something, he may try to catch you. That's what I get out of you. That's all I get. I see a, I see a cock in the back leg. Like, Diet, really. <laughs> That's how you trim your fingernails in the Everglades. It's called a redneck manicure. Actually, works pretty good. Now, he's already done a show, so I'm not going to use him. I'm trying to find somebody we haven't used yet. Let's see if I got somebody down here. I'm going to grab the alligator by... Oh, there's one. Grab the alligator by the tail. The reason I grab him by the tail, I know it's. I know you did a show. It wasn't that good? Yeah. Either was yours. You both might want to spend more time rehearsing, less time complaining. I'm gonna grab him by the tail. The reason I do that, you'll notice. You look in here. It's hard to see, but there's no teeth this end. You have to be smart in this game. It's really smart. And as you can see, this gator's thrilled to do your show. That is unbridled enthusiasm, folks. I'm going to drag him back. And I'm going to try to use the same blind spot I used to go in his mouth. You can close your mouth, by the way. We're done playing that game. He wants to go in the water. It's like, don't take me out of the water. Yeah. It's a gator dance. He's going to run in there. He's going to make him do a moonwalk. I'm to use the same blind spot I used to go in his mouth to go under this one's mouth. I'm going to get that head back, reach over, good firm grip of the jaws. Now for the guys, pay attention, it's very important. Hold the alligator, always hold him just like this, okay? Never ever like this. It's not funny. It's not funny, bad things can happen. You know, really bad things. If you don't get it, look, I'll show you. No, lady, there's nothing to see, that's the point. It's too late for me. I'm trying to help these guys out. <laughs> Just go look at a mannequin or a Ken Now I'm going to cover the eyes, maybe step over onto the back. Now if you're a seminal late 1800s, call yourself an alligator, first thing you want to do is tie the jaws shut. By yourself, kind of tricky, you do need two hands tied, not. Something has to hold the mouth closed while you're doing it, or you're just losing your fingers in the process. Seminoles came up with a technique we now refer to as bulldog. He's holding the jaws closed with your chin and your chest. Freeze your hands up, it gives you time to take out leather or rope tie a knot. Want to take a picture? Wait till both arms go out to the side, or you see the blood pouring down my throat. It's usually where I tell the kids to stay in school. Okay, take your pictures quickly, please. <laughs> take out your rope, couple wraps, tie a knot, and you have yourself a caught and tied alligator. Now, judging by the half a golf crop I got from these two over here, apparently you guys are not too late, too late. Yeah, thanks. Nothing better for my ego than pity applause. I'll be on suicide watch all week. So I'm trying to redeem myself in a minute. In the meantime, though, we're going to touch on a couple different parts of the alligator's anatomy. Eyes are very well protected. They have very deep eye sockets. And if you the eyes, they drop the bottom of the eye sockets out of the way of harm. Bony leathery eyelids come down to help protect the lower eyelid like you and I have. He also has a third eyelid called the nictitating membrane. It's a little transparent lens you may see move from front to back. It acts to clean dust and debris away from the eyes. It also kind of acts like a pair of goggles, the alligator in the water. Behind the eyes, alligator's ears, the little flaps right there. Alligator hears about as well as we do on land, also hears very well in the water. Between the ears, behind the eyes, located about there, is the alligator's brain. About the size of a walnut, and I'm being generous. Only one animal in the entire world has a smaller brain to body size ratio 
And that, of course, is the alligator wrestler. <laughs> All right, now what separates alligator wrestling from alligator capture? Of course, dangerous stunts, doing a couple of foolish things, like putting your hands in the gator's mouth. A couple more we'll do right now. Don't do it. I got this. First trick, lower his mouth. Open the alligator's mouth, showing all 80 teeth. He's got 40 teeth on top and 40 teeth on the bottom. If you look at the back, yes, you do, I count. If you look at the back of the throat, it appears he has a little too much. An oversized pallet to allow him to water, allows him to go in the water, capture food without drowning. He'll usually then service above the water to swallow that food. He's posing a loyal. Thanks for the one girl who got the Chris Brown reference. The rest of you guys go buy a radio tonight. All right, last trick we're going to do is what's called the face off, because if I mess up, so I'm also going to show you what a bachelor's degree in psychology is now worth. University of Massachusetts. Parents wasted a lot of money on college. Don't like the fact that they bad jokes about it. Especially the internet. Hey, you know without me, you'd be a suitcase, right? As long as he knows that, it's probably not even dangerous. He's gonna make it look dangerous, though, isn't he? Just knock it off. Listen. Listen, they know that you and I come up with bed together tonight. You tiger, you. Yeah. Don't really get out much. Sometimes people clap. Hey, I found my keys. None of that stuff. Well, the alligator, that is the best part of the show for these guys are going to do. All right, guys, with that, that is the end of the show. Again, anything you put in those baskets does go to help save these alligators. We always do appreciate that. Thank you guys for coming out, and God bless. If you want to hold the baby, Eric's going to bring it out right over here. If you want to hold Eric, it's free. See, now he doesn't want to go back in the water. Let's uh, lay down in the shade. You can't get over how tall they are when they walk. Oh yeah. It's alright, kid. No girls, no girls, listen.